Unless you're legally brain dead because you're easily distracted by Hannah Montana news, don't own a television, or you spend all of your time worrying about what the next country will be where Brad and Angelina are gonna adopt their next kid, you have to be acutely aware of the dire straits that our economy is in right now. Our economy is going down the crapper like a dead goldfish. Now you may be wondering, what does an engineer know about investing in finances? Let's put it this way. Who do you even think invented all the complex math and algorithms that go in to financial analysis? All those finance guys with their fancy lingo are just engineers that aren't smart. So the finance guys have screwed everything up. So let's see what engineers might think about getting through these tough times. A big part of being an engineer is optimization. So let me impart upon you a few ways that you can optimize your portfolio that you may not have thought about before. Now, of course, if you're anything like me, you may be thinking that those collectible action figures that you've been saving since the second grade are gonna get you through this tough time, but I've got something that's even safer. It's so safe that quite possibly your grandpa might be a millionaire as a result. I'm gonna talk to you about a metal commodity. And no, I have not been hypnotized by that crazy freaking Monex lady on TV. Now is the perfect time to invest in gold. I wanna talk about copper. Like my grandpa always said, a penny saved is a penny invested. He didn't really say that, he was pretty freaking nuts most of the time. Pennies minted before 1983 contain 95% copper, or about 2.945 grams of copper per penny. Current futures, even at a 6.5 year low, place the value of copper at $1.65 US per pound, which equates to about 0.36 cents per gram. Do the math and what you'll find is that the penny by the value of the copper content is actually worth 1.07 cents, which is 0.07 cents more than what you paid for it a 7% gain. That's more than a savings account. And what's the risk? A penny can't be worth less than a penny. Now watch out for those 1982 pennies. Due to transitional errors, some 82 pennies were minted in copper and some in zinc. A copper penny weighs 3.11 grams. Zinc ones weigh less than three grams. Now I'm spending all of my free time working on a machine that's gonna sort out the copper and the zinc pennies automatically for me. And with all this money that I'm saving, I can use it to buy all the parts for my copper penny sorting machine. 